So you might have seen Fancy Orb's new Village Warfare video, and if you haven't, go watch that video first. In that video, I built Propound Clan, the sweats of the server, and we got rated 100 versus 18 in a one wall to loot base and one. Today, I'm going to show you how to build that exact base. This is the Reaper, a clan base designed to be as cheap as physically possible while giving you a large compound, plenty of turret angles to win those big raid defenses, and an open core for you and your friends to hang out in. While this base is incredibly secure given all these features, it can never be as secure as Surfshark VPN, who kindly sponsored today's video. Surfshark VPN, a virtual private network in short, keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data hidden from big corporations as well as cyber criminals. By using a VPN, you are able to swap the real location of your device with a new one, allowing you to virtually travel anywhere around the globe. By changing your virtual location, you can bypass censorship anywhere with the click of a button. Say you're in the UK and you want to access the new shows on American Netflix with the click of a button, you can do that. Or if you're trying to watch a video on YouTube and that video isn't available in your country with the click of a button, you can do that too. This is an awesome Awesome way to get access to whatever you want when you want and be safe while doing it. How safe? Incredibly safe. A VPN encrypts your online data and helps you to secure your personal information when you're on public Wi-Fi, which is a gold mine for hackers. When using Surfshark, the VPN masks your IP address and makes sure your city, country, and download history aren't linked to your identity. One of my favorite features of Surfshark is Clean Web that blocks ads, trackers, malware and phishing attacks, and more, doubling as an online security program. So if all this sounds good to you, click the link in the description or go over to Surfshark.com now and use code SIEGE to get three extra months for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is truly no risk to trying it out. I use this program every single day, and if it works for me, it will work for you too. Click on the link in the description now and give it a shot. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video, and let's go ahead and get into the base tour. Alright, here we are outside of the Reaper. Let's go ahead and take a tour. Coming inside here, we have our airlock gates. And a little further, we got some foundations to spread privilege. And we have our double chain link turrets over here. As well as some peaks outside of your, uh, your wall here. These double chain links are super nice for raid defenses. On the inside here, we have six external TCs on this base. And this is the upkeep for each. This is very cheap. Very, very cheap for a clan base. Okay, coming inside here, we have our funnel wall. So shotgun traps on each side. Have some turrets back in here, as well as some really hard to see shotgun traps a little further in. Being inside here, this is a great spot for some beds. And these are some good Patrico peaks out into your compound. over here we have some bedroom spawns we got four beds on each side or sorry two beds on each side I mean, inside of our airlock here we have some uh, little patrico peaks in our airlocks as well if you want to you can put beds in these it's not really necessary though here we have some uh, drop down towers from the roof and as you can see, these are connected via wood, so you can disconnect all of these if your TCs get blown to replace TCs later. Here we have some spawn points. These have really good peaks out in the compound, and these turrets right here can actually cover the entire bottom of the base through the chain link. Coming inside the front door. Oh, and sorry, I forgot to mention, these are also elevator shafts. Of course, these don't work on Sanctuary, but you would have an elevator in here and the way the elevator goes up is it goes up by half floors so you would have really good peaks out of the elevators. On the inside here we have locker here that's our jump up there. Coming this way we have some early game defenses here with a bedroom here's a battery and here are some peaks out into compound super nice for early game raid defense. Going into the bottom of the base, this is a super easy starter. I've got three entrances on this just to maximize the places that you can go early on if you have a lot of people playing. TC's over here. And here's the upkeep, about 66k metal. Go ahead and go up into the base. More battery spots. And here is your open core. 
Oh, we have some armor turrets down low. We've got plenty of space for loot. Got turrets up high, turrets in the peaks that look down into your open core as well. So it's very hard to blow all the turrets, which is great for keeping control of your base, which is one of the reasons that we won that raid in Fancy Orbs video. Getting up high here. We have some peaks down into your open core. And we have more breach peaks down into compound. These have some really good angles, especially this one looking out towards the gate. Very, very solid peaks. And here, we're going to go up again. You can use this spot here to take back your shooting floor if need be, if you're spawning on roof. Up on roof here, we have just about as much turret coverage as you could ever need. We have turrets on the elevator shafts way out there. Six turrets here and a couple turrets down low, just so we don't lose all of them in one shot. Up here you can see that we have some very good peaks down into compound. We have some mountain roof type peaks here. And of course we have some Miami peaks on this side that connect to our elevator shaft. That is a tour of the Reaper, so let's go ahead and learn how to build the base. All right, let's go ahead and start the starter for the Reaper. What we're gonna do is place a square foundation. We're gonna do a circle in the middle of that and a square off of each circle. And we're gonna fill out the rest with triangles. I'm gonna place a single door frame here. And then I'm gonna do that on the other three sides or other two sides, I should say. It should look like this. And now we're gonna place walls along the rest of it. And make sure you get your doors in there super fast so you don't get griefed while you're setting up your base. Now, let's go ahead and set the roof. And let's seal it up. Alright, now we're going to pick a triangle. I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to place my TC in here with a door in front of it. Now over here, I'm going to place a wall just like this. We'll do a half wall here, the triangle there, and a triangle through the wall. We can delete these. Here I'm going to put my furnaces. And you can set your boxes up in here however you like. We're going to go ahead and set up our other two loot rooms now. Each one will be just like this. Go up front, then the same thing here. You'll put your boxes in there and we'll want more door frames here i'd recommend putting your garage doors in if you already have them you can also just use double doors if it's still too early game to do that all right now we're going to step outside base and i'm going to use three-sided symmetry which means it's going to build the same thing on three sides so outside of your front door here we're going to build a circle and if you look just did this or did the same thing on all three sides. I'm gonna place a square here, triangle here, and a triangle here, and we're gonna finish it off with another square. This is what the starter should look like. And now let's go ahead and get the first of the three external TCs done. All right, off the current base, we're going to use six-sided symmetry, seen here. And we're going to do something to build out our bedrooms on the base. So, here, we're going to go up with two walls. As you can see, it's done that on all six sides of the base. Now, I'm going to go out three squares. A triangle here, and a triangle here, and here. And we're going to go ahead and remove these squares here. We're going to do is we're going to place walls on the back here with half walls here. A floor on top and a floor here. I'm going to do half walls around the sides of this just like that. Windows here. And our double door frames here and here. You can go ahead and place four triangles just like this. And now we're going to want to add roofs here. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and add our embrasures in. Our chain link fence here. And our double door here. 
And to kind of show you how these bedrooms work, we're going to place our battery in the back here. We're going to place a locker right in front of the battery. We're going to place our boxes off to the side as far back as we can get them. And now we're going to place our beds in the middle here. You're going to want to make sure that these beds are pressed together as far as you can get them. Just like that. Okay, now coming outside, we need to connect these back to base. So I'm going to use a frame here. This one can be stone. Then I will connect this to the base with a floor. You're going to want to make sure that that floor is wood, just like that. We're going to be in three-sided symmetry now. We're going to go out with two triangles here. And then we're going to go out with three squares, one, two, three, with a triangle on the end, and we can delete all of that. Now we're going to go back with a half moon, we'll place a square here, and a triangle here. We go delete this. We go out with a square on each side and a triangle facing the base, and we can go ahead and delete these squares. And if you want to make this easy on yourself, you can just raise this foundation here. I'm going to do walls here and here. And now we're gonna go ahead and connect the rest of this. So these will be our entry points into the base. So just keep that in mind for later. From here, we're gonna go out with three squares. And you can set this up now if you want. I'll do it in twig just so I remember later. But we go out with a build out just like this. how this should look right now. We are building the funnel wall essentially, but I'm just setting it down in twig right now so you can see exactly what I'm building. From here, we need to go ahead and build our external TC. So we're gonna go out with a square and four triangles. On the end of that, we're gonna have our TC compartment here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back into stone. What I'm gonna do is add walls all the way around the side with two half walls here and a single door here. And we're going to add our TCs here. This gives us three external TCs to start with, but we want to go ahead and make sure that these are sealed in. So we want to add a full wall here. And what we're going to do is add frames just like this. We can go ahead and delete this build out here. And while you have it like this, make sure that these are at least stone so that people can't come up and disconnect your externals. With that done, we're going to go ahead and add some doors to protect our external PCs. You can add doors however you want. You can use doubles or singles, doesn't matter. Okay, coming back in here, we need to go ahead and seal this in. So what we're going to do is add windows here, here, and here with doors on the top. Coming down here, we're going to add our roof triangles facing this way, just like that. When you get it, you can add your horizontal embrasures here. And after this is complete, you're gonna to wanna to add, looking at it from this here, from these TCs, add a wall here on the right, a double door frame here on the left. You can add a double door there, and we're gonna seal this compartment in. And this will be your bedroom, so you can go ahead and place your extra beds down here and we will create our little battery cabinet here and we can seal this in with the door now we will seal all this in right here soon so don't worry about it just yet you can seal it in if you want to but that is entirely up to you we will be adding turrets here though so just keep that in mind and with these walls in place, I'm going to make sure they're rotated out and I'm going to place half walls right here and right here with some floors on the top. You can place a floor here as well if you'd like. And if you have the early game turrets, go ahead and toss them down so they can protect your roof. While we're up here, let's go ahead and seal in the top here just to give us some extra honeycomb from top downs early game these circles here we're going to go ahead and get these finished out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out with four squares. A triangle on the end and we're going to come back with a half moon and a square at the end of that with a triangle on the right and left hand side All right and this will be your elevator tower so don't worry about it too much for now we're going to go ahead and connect this external so we're going to go out with three squares 
And same thing that we did on the other side. I want to add a circle on the end of this. Squares here and here. Triangles here with triangles on the end. And we're going to build the exact same external TC. So you could just do it as you did on the other side. Alright, awesome. So we have this done here. What we're going to do next is get ready to seal in this inner part of our compound here. So to do that, we're going to start on the sides where our elevators are. The elevators are off the circular sides of the base on three sides. What I'm going to do is place a half wall here and a half wall here. I'm going to place a full wall here with windows here and here. And this, you can just place another wall there if you want. On the inside here, we're going to place walls, half walls off to the side with windows on top. And then we're going to place a wall frame here with a window facing in. This is how your towers will start for the base. And we're not going to worry about this until later on. But we can place floor triangles here. And we are going to want to get our embrasures here as fast as possible, just to limit people jumping into our base. Now, on the other three sides here, let's go ahead and build our airlocks. So what we're gonna do is add a half wall here, a half wall here, windows here, with a half height floor here. Do a double door frame here and here with a roof on top. And we're gonna wanna make sure that that roof, or that we get triangle roofs off to the side. To increase the stability on those triangle roofs, we're gonna add our double door frames just like this. And we can add some chain link here if we'd like. To get into the base, we're going to want to go ahead and add double doors. And for now, just to help for later on, add a double door frame or right here, just like this. Okay, so off of the six sides right here with the bedrooms on each side, we're going to use six-sided symmetry. And let's go ahead and connect this all the way to the outer compound. I'm going to place a square here, a triangle here with a wall frame on it right there. This wall frame should look exactly like this. A, another square here and a triangle here. We're going to add wall frames on this triangle just like this and we can delete these foundations here. Off of this triangle we're going to place a square, a circle, two squares, and one more circle with the end foundation here being raised. Here we're going to add half walls and windows all the way around. And we're going to add roofs on top. When we have them, go ahead and add the horizontal embrasures as well. Of course, we'll be adding our roof triangles here. And we're going to go ahead and set this up. We're going to do a triangle off of each side and two wall frames just like this. And then you can delete that triangle. If you have the chain link fences, go ahead and toss them in here. Excellent. On top of these, we're going to go ahead and add some metal barricades. We're going to do triangles off of each side and we're going to add the barricade to where it lines up with the middle on the right hand side here. And same thing there. We can delete these triangles. All right, now we are ready to seal in our compound. So let's go ahead and place some walls. All right, so starting at our outer TCs here, we're going to grab our gates. This is in six-sided symmetry because there are six outer TCs with walls like this. And we're going to place our gates against the end of that TC there. That way, when you open your gates up, there is an airlock against the back of that gate. But coming over here to your TCs, we're going to take a wall and we're going to clip it just about halfway through that window there so that you still get a peek outside of your compound. And we're going to place that just like so. And off of this gate here, we're going to try and place it aligned with the gate so it is horizontal all the way across. And here we will place our last wall. And we will just repeat that on the other side here. Mm -hmm. 
super, super easy compound to place. Now you might be asking how do we ensure that we have privilege all the way around the compound and that is a good question. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some wooden foundations here. They're going to be off all six of our TCs here, not the chain linked breech piece on our base. So what we're going to do is add a foundation here. Then we're going to go out with five triangles on the end of this foundation. Just like that. And now your TCs will spread privilege all the way around the outside of your compound, making it much harder for people to build into your base. Now, so we can go ahead and place our furnaces. We're gonna build out the remainder of these in stone so that we can see exactly what they look like. Off the end of the squares here, here we're gonna place a square, two triangles here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Square with two triangles. We will add two triangles here and two triangles here with a square on the inside. This shows you exactly where your compound and funnel wall will be. So now we can place furnaces in the spots that aren't yet taken. All right, with our furnaces up and ready to go, let's go ahead and continue working on the base. And just a quick note on electricity, let's go ahead and get our towers down so we can start running our turrets. Here, I wanna add a wall here and here, and a wall frame here. And now we're gonna go up until these wall frames I'm placing are at 20% stability. You could check by holding your hammer up to the wall and that number at 75 should become 20. Alright, we are now at 20% stability, which means we are up high enough and can get the maximum power out of our turbines. Now we can place our turbines here. And the best part about this is, is you will simply connect this, run the power down this tower. You may need to use a extender, or not a extender, a uh, root combiner, down here off of this TC, and here you get to connect it directly to your battery super super easy way to run power for this base once that's done the most important turrets you will need for the base are these these guard your entire compound especially the bolties in them these are great turrets to have early game once those turrets are done i would ensure that you have these three turrets on the roof as well if you have all those then you can move on to these turrets here these will protect the very inner compound of your base keeping it nice and safe now let's go ahead and start building up the sides of our base. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch into three-sided symmetry. Here we are gonna have our front entrances to the base. I'm gonna place a door frame here. This can get a double door for now, just for faster access. I'm gonna place windows here and here. And we will have windows in these. We're gonna have a wall here. And inside here, we will have our locker. And you can just place a window over this if you'd like. I'm gonna place another door frame here. I'm going to go ahead and close this in. And here I'm going to do a half height jump up. And we can use this to jump up into our open core. Let's seal that in. We're going to add a wall frame right here. And we're going to add two walls facing out on each side here. Here we can place a wall facing out with a door here. And we can use this for another battery spot. And here we're just going to add walls as per usual. This again will be our next jump up, so let's go ahead and get that done there. Coming inside here, we're going to want to place half walls on essentially everything. So we're going to do half walls here, half walls here. You can seal these in if you like. You can also get rid of this and place a secret box here just like this. Up to you. I like to just seal it in. And in these spots here, let's go ahead and place some ramps just like this. And on these spots here, you're going to want to place a floor frame here and some ramps just like this. We're going to upgrade these ramps to metal. This way those turrets have a little protection. Here, let's go ahead and place a wall. Same thing here. 
And off the ends here, we're gonna place half walls on all of this. And on the outside here, you can basically just honeycomb this in. Just like that. And now we will place full walls here to create our loot room. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this. On three sides, this will be some six box loot rooms. And in here, we're gonna add, I'm gonna switch to six sided symmetry real quick. And here for our six box loot rooms, since we have this connector on the outside, all we have to do is place a triangle off that connector. A triangle here, I delete the one on the outside, didn't need to do that. And a roof on top. Add some door frames there and you are good to go. Symmetry, we're gonna add a door frame here and a window here. If you want, you can go ahead and add windows just like this. Jumping up another level. Here is where you get to jump around inside of your open core. So let's go ahead and seal this in right here. We're going to do a half wall here as well as here. I'm going to place some windows on top of that. And here we want to make sure that we have some walls to increase the stability of this turret spot. And then we can place our roof triangles. Let's go ahead and make sure that we place our horizontal embrasures here. We're going to make sure that these embrasures are facing in. And on the end here, we're going to go ahead and build up with more walls. Perfect. And here we can just place more walls. You can also leave these with windows, but I don't like to do that just because there's a lot of risk of people being able to get inside your base. I'm gonna place some wall frames on this spot here and we're gonna go ahead and start closing this in. In this position here, there's gonna be a turret that goes on top of this wall. So let's place some wall frames here. Let's do a floor here and half height walls just like this. That way you can place your turrets in here. Right to the back here, we're gonna place a lowered wall here and here and some floors on top. Coming into the middle, we can now seal this in. Let's go ahead and place some floors here and fill the rest in with triangles. Perfect, we are now moving here in these spots. I wanna go ahead and add some turrets. These turrets will look all the way down into open core, which is super nice. Coming up top here, we're gonna add some walls here. And as you can see, this will have a double door there, wall here, and we will do half walls along the back of this. Go ahead and seal these parts in, as these will be your jump downs down from the roof. In these spots here, let's go ahead and seal this in. And we will add some lowered walls just like that. And next, we're gonna go ahead and build the roof. All right, let's go ahead and get our roof done. So off of our three entrances here, we are going to have three-sided symmetry on. As usual, we're going to do a window here and a window here, a double door frame. And we can seal this in with another door just for extra security. And don't worry about filling these windows in. You won't need to in just a second. With six-sided symmetry on, we're going to do a half wall here and a window here. And... Now, here on this spot, where I want to go back to three-sided symmetry. Do window frames just like this. Back to six-sided symmetry, we can place our roofs here, giving us those nice peaks. And with three-sided symmetry back on, we are going to place windows here just like this. That's why when you jump up here, you have a nice peak through those windows. On top here, I'm going to place door frames on the outside, and I'm going to seal this in with root, or with floors just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get the spot ready for turrets, so I'm going to place roofs on top of it just like so. And in these spots here, you see the elevator shaft there, which this will connect to. We're going to place a door frame here. We'll place a roof triangle on top with a regular triangle just like that. And off these spots here, we're going to do two triangle floor frames with double door frames through the rest of it. And these will become our Miami Peaks. And of course, you'll want your roof triangles on top of that. Once this is done, I would recommend that you start filling out these turrets immediately. 
place them there and here. Additionally, you can add turrets here if you would like to for more complicated turrets for the raiders to handle. Next, let's go ahead and do some half walls. And I will seal in the middle of the roof here, just like that. And now we can place some ramps, just like this, and add some drop loot box storage. Perfect. All right, the roof is looking ready to go. A couple quick notes here in these spots, you'll want to add horizontal embrasures. And here in this spot, you'll want to add a chain link door. This way, the eventual turret can see through that door. All right, let's go ahead and build up the elevators. The elevators are right here, and we're going to extend them all the way to the top of the base. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and build our elevators. What we're going to do is take our building plan, and we're going to keep going up with windows here and walls on the back facing out. And we can place a shelf right here off the back if you'd like to. And from here, this is where the elevator will end, right where this floor is. So you can place this here and we can do windows, windows off of each side. If you want to, you can close this elevator shaft in. It isn't really necessary. I'm gonna place this ramp here and you can add these embrasures just like this and coming down the elevator shaft you can add some horizontal embrasures facing out now when you go to place your elevators all you have to do is place it from the outside just like this and to show you how those windows and peaks work this is where the elevator stops each time so you'll have like a half floor of peaks and you just go up placing it just like this and you can see how the peaks work on each level. You just place the elevator from this little interstitial space here all the way up to the roof. And I would recommend adding a, uh, a call button here on the wall. It just needs to be a regular. With this button, you can just use like a regular button here and you just connect it to the or to the elevator up here and all you do is press the button and it would call the elevator to the top floor that way you don't have to jump down and use the elevator like that so with your three elevators set up and ready to go i'm going to put a turret right here in this turret pod and as you can see those turrets watch the very inside of the roof that's a great spot for some bolties all right let's go ahead and build our jump down bedrooms here on the other spots of the base the jump down bedrooms will be off of these six bedrooms that we built very early on. So let's go ahead and get these done. All right, for the jump down bedrooms, we're gonna do frames on each side, as well as frames in the middle. We're gonna do a half wall here, here, and here. Window here, and then windows here on these four sides with a half wall here. I'm gonna place a floor here, triangle here and here. And if you really want to, I'd recommend adding some horizontal embrasures at least facing out so you don't get killed the second you spawn in. And after that, you can place a regular embrasure there. Now, as you can see, we need something to help us jump. So we're gonna add a regular triangle frame here. You can also add a full roof if you'd like. I'll leave that up to you. Inside this spot here, we're gonna add our beds. And if you can fit them, we can add some small boxes in here. This will also help us to get some nice little angles down into compound. All right, now that those six sides are done, let's go ahead and finish up our airlocks here. All we need to do is grab a regular roof and place it on top of that door frame. And with that, we will add our barricades to this. We may have to place some triangles here and some barricades off center, just like this. In these spots here, I'd recommend adding some chain link fence, just like this. And if you want, you can add more barricades here. It's not exactly necessary. But you can if you would like to.
All right, our actual main base is ready to go. At this stage, you're gonna to want to upgrade everything to metal. So all we're gonna do is go in here and press upgrade and sanctuary and it will upgrade our whole base to metal. And now using six sided symmetry, make sure you have it set on six sided. We're gonna finish out the entire base. So let's go ahead and get started on the funnel wall. All right, we're gonna start on these six sides here. This is the sides with the elevators and these sides with our airlocks. On these sides here, we left them as wood early on. Let's go ahead and upgrade them. And now what we're gonna do is add a half wall here, a half wall here, and a half wall here. We're gonna place some windows here and here. And if you'd like to, we can go ahead and place a half height floor there. And of course, we're going to be placing our triangles just like that. Make sure that you have your horizontal embrasures facing inward. Here, we're going to go ahead and cover this up with a roof. Coming over here, I'm going to place a wall here. This is going to be the same on the other side. We'll go ahead and build a shelf here with a, with a roof on top. And we're going to place a window here. So help us get some peaks out into compound. On the inside here, we could place a window as well. And the rest of this will just be door frames. Here, I would recommend placing it. Place it lowered or high, that's up to you. And we'll place our embrasures just like this. If you don't like this peak here and you feel that it gives too many people an advantage into your base, just replace that with a regular wall. And here on the inside, let's go ahead and get our chain link down. And right here, we will add some chain link fences. On this spot, we're gonna to wanna to turret here immediately. And in here, you can drop your beds or whatever you need. Coming outside here, you're gonna to wanna to place floors here and here for your Patrico peaks. You may have to break a furnace or two, no big deal. We're gonna place our barricades here and here, as well as one more up top just to stop people from jumping in. Let's go ahead and finish off the other part of our china wall. All right, so here, what we're going to do is we're gonna add a wall here with a floor on top. we we'll create another half wall there, and we're gonna seal this out. Same thing on the other side. On the inside here, what we will do is add a floor through the wall, a floor on top, and a window here. This gives us some great peaks on the inside of compound here in the event that we get raided. Same thing on the other side. And now we're going to wall in this square here. And same thing here, we're going to go ahead and do half walls with some windows on top. Let's go ahead and seal this up. And you can add a turret here if you would like by using the simple triangle trick. But what I would actually recommend doing is adding two lockers like this and then placing your triangle roofs like this so that you have some extra. And you can obviously toss a code lock on these and it's impossible to collect the loot from once they break. They will despawn under these ramps. Place your And up here, just make sure that you don't forget your low walls. And these are bedrooms, so make sure that we have this all sealed in with these embrasures. And let's get our beds down. Here, we can go ahead and add some double doors. And on top, we're gonna need to add our barricades just so people can't get into our base. Just like this, try not to obscure the view from these uh, peaks. These are great peaks for handling raid defenses, so try not to block them when you can. And one more barricade up top. So that is how you build the Reaper. This base served us incredibly well in Fancy Orbs event, and I know that it will help you as well on your wipes coming up. If you'd like this base, smash that subscribe button, drop a comment below, and tell me what you want to see next. I appreciate you all watching this video. It means the world to me, and I will see you next time. Peace.